Well, at least 17 people are dead and another 40 injured after this morning's explosive attack on a police station in Pakistan. The bombing shattered the station in the town of Lakimawat and neighboring homes. Nine police officers, four adult civilians and four children going to school were slain in the attack. In recent days, militants have launched attacks across Pakistan aimed at destabilizing the county and weakening the government. Officials are already struggling with a massive flooding that has displaced millions and destroyed communities. In Guatemala, at least 100 people are feared dead after torrential rains unleashed more than a dozen landslides over the weekend. Firefighters confirm at least 20 dead in the village of Nawala, where two mudslides hit a section of a highway. Officials say more than 50 people are believed to be buried under tons of rubble. They were in a bus on their way to help victims of the first slide. Rescue crews have suspended their operations until that rain lets up. And our neighbors to the north are cleaning up what Tropical Storm Earl left behind. The storm dumped heavy rain and strong winds on Nova Scotia, Canada over the weekend. Earl uprooted trees and knocked down power lines, as you see here, leaving more than 200,000 households in the dark. All essential services like hospitals, water treatment facilities, other public utilities now have power restored, and much of the debris is now cleared from the roads. That's a look at your top stories this morning, Roxy. Back to you. All right, Brent, thanks for that. Time to live frugal with this bargain blast.